Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be featuring a rain team and continuing on with our BGC 2021 content. As you can see, the team is on your screen right now. This is the team that we'll be featuring today. As always, there will be a poker paste down in the description and we will throw a rental code up at the end of the episode in case you would like to take this away and try it for yourself. I'm pretty excited to try this team out. Rain is definitely one of my favorite archetypes, definitely favorite weather. If you've known me for a long time so i'm looking forward to trying this one out today and uh, showing that rain has a real good place in the format we'll jump into the games and we'll explain the team as we go so without further ado let's jump into our first match of today okay our first opponent up today is playing a team of latias metagross reggie aleki urshifu heatran and whimsicott so straight away you can see they've got that prankster tailwind um on the whimsicott there it's going to provide speed control for the entire team Going to make it difficult to perform well with the Politoed Kingdra because with that Tailwind support, then the Latias becomes a bit more of a threat to Kingdra in particular. Uh, Regieleki, again, is one of those Pokemon that can uh, cause us all sorts of issues as well. I do think Kingdra is very good in this match, but maybe it's a, a Pokemon that we bring maybe later on in this game. Now, what are our options here? I think, you know, really, like having Fake Out support with Rillaboom isn't a bad option at all. What other options has my opponent got really on the team? I'm not really sure what the Latias does in this build, but uh, we need to be quick on what we're going to choose. I think I'm going to leave Kingdra. I'm going to leave Rillaboom. I'm going to bring Politoed. And what's our last Pokemon going to be? Bottom Heat or Registeel? I think Registeel is pretty nice here. Now, actually change my mind i think rotom heat is the better one it gives us a nice switch into stuff like heatran stuff like reggie aleki um and it gives us a bit of more firepower against the metagross and the whimsicott so it makes a little bit more sense to bring that in this match uh whereas reggie steel could be good but it's going to be threatened heavily by uh you know the the urshifu and um especially a few of the other members if uh, things get boosted up you're looking at the metagross probably with weakness policy i'd imagine um but you can never quite tell. So we'll get into this first one today. We'll see how the team kind of gets on here. But it's going to be a little bit awkward. I think things like Whimsicott always make um, when you're utilizing a weather and a, a kind of a weather abusing ability like Swift Swim or Chlorophyll. It makes it a little bit more difficult to really get the most out of it. But we do have the opportunity here. We do have the opportunity right here to go for Fake Out into the Whimsicott and go for Max Airstream. Which is a nice option for us to kind of kick off with um this first turn now what is the metagross going to do here and does the whimsicott actually stay in now what we need to do is just take a look at my opponent's team do they have really anything that is going to benefit coming in on an airstream they could have heatran don't mind that they have the regieleki uh, not not too bad i think i'm going to go for it you know i think i'm going to go for the problem is doing it this turn is if the Whimsicott has Protect, which it likely has. Um, and then they just get the Tailwind up the next turn anyway. So, but on the off chance that they don't have Protect, it's always good. Like, say if they don't. If they don't have Protect and we are able to remove the Whimsicott right now, it takes away their entire kind of form of domination over this rain team. It takes away the Tailwind. So, the risk here versus the reward is is pretty reasonable i think um and that's what you're kind of trying to weigh up in most situations um it's harder to gauge in a best of one because you're going to be surprised by by certain moves certain players certain strategies um and definitely certain combinations but in a best of three you know it's it's always it's always a good thing to use in any match but it's harder in best of one i feel than it is to kind of yeah so this isn't the worst thing in the world so we're going to see a helping hand come out the fake out breaks the sash which is the main thing for us here. Um, and then the Kingdra is going to get its airstream up, which is ideal. So the ideal situation for us right now is to lose the Rillaboom. So we get the free switch into Polito to get our rain up. And then the next turn, we've got a, a, an amazing way for us to um, to utilize um, and take advantage of Kingdra's like big, big power. Uh, the Mindstorm coming out. Okay, well, Helping Hand boosted. It's not going to be quite enough. It does a nice chunk of damage. It does remove our grassy terrain, puts the psychic terrain up on the field, which is going to further boost the uh, the Metagross. Um, 
So I think immediately we need to switch out Rillaboom here. We want to be getting the rain on the field. Depends what comes in next to the Metagross. That'll be a big kind of uh, pointer for what we want to do. But you, you've got to keep in mind that Rillaboom is uh, going to be with that speed boost here. Okay. Now, I think we go... Oh, where do we want to target? I want to, tar I want to target into the Urshifu. It can't sucker punch us here because of the terrain. Um, and I really want to remove it from the field. Now, the Whimsicott probably has the Sash. So I don't think Urshifu has the Sash. It's more likely that the Urshifu has the Band. So I'm going to Airstream the Urshifu. We get rid of that. We bring in Politoed. My opponent's got two Pokemon left then. I'm assuming they're going to target down the Kingdra this next turn. Um, and then we Perish Song and we win the game. So if everything works out like I've just planned in my head, then it should be quite straightforward. But it's not always as easy as that. So let's see what how it plays out. Yeah, no Protect. I'd imagine it is Band Urshifu. It's Sash. It's Sash. Oh my gosh. It's Sash. Okay, well, it's still not the worst thing in the world because we are going to be able to get Rillaboom onto the field. Uh, overwrite the Psychic Terrain. <sighs> We're going to lose Kingdra here no matter what. Uh, Wicked Blow coming into the Kingdra, yep. And Mindstorm will be going into the Politoed, I'd imagine. Um, so Kingdra not getting the most out of its Dynamax turns here, in all honesty. I mean, we have picked up a knockout. We nearly got two, taking the Urshifu down to its Sash. Politoed should take... Whew, yeah, Politoed. Politoed is a, a, a massive tanky Pokemon, but that was very close. Too close for comfort. Um, now we'll get Rillaboom onto the field. Yeah, because I think if we remove the Rillaboom, um, what we could potentially do is uh, switch... Predict the Protect from the Urshifu, right? Because we got Fake Out. And we got Grassy Glide. Um, I think what we potentially could do is switch into Rotom here. It's pretty risky because if the Urshifu does attack into the Rillaboom slot, I don't really want to protect Politoed as well. Do we protect... I mean, do we protect Politoed? Because the thing is... I don't think we protect Politoed here. If Politoed goes down, that's fine. I think we can win out this game without it. Or should we going to switch out? Okay. That's fine. And Regieleki going to come in. Okay. If we can get a burn on to the Metagross, that would be incredible. But I think the Metagross is going to be able to, to pick up the knockout onto the... Uh... Oh, we actually outspeed it. If we can get the burn here, that's huge. Come on, Polly. No. Okay. Okay, into Rotom. Uh, okay, well, that'll activate our Citrus Berry, which kind of helps. The rain is not helping right now, I've got to admit. Um, but we still might be able to do something here, you know. I think we go for another Skull. Mm, do we go for a Scald? Do we go for the Nasty Plot? Uh, probably not, because the Psychic Terrain is up. I think we'll go for... We could perish here. That is an option. But it's likely that the Regieleki is going to... Um... Yeah, I think we'll go into Rillaboom. I think we'll go into Rillaboom here. Protect our Autumn Heat. I think it's our best option. And then we've got the ability to, to have that fake out support to maybe get a nasty plot up. Stall out this rain. Uh, but the big... The big thing here is we need to we need to keep uh, Rillaboom healthy for when that Urshifu comes back onto the field. So we've got the Grassy Glide, um, and, you know, that is going to be really imperative to us. They're going to have Sucker Punch for sure. But if we can just stay out of Sucker Punch range, we're in a good spot. And we're probably going to see his end head. But, I mean, you've got to kind of be worried about the, um, the Rotom Heat as well here, you know. We're going to see an Electro Web come out. It is going to lower the speed on uh, Rillaboom. As we do hit the field. And there's a Zen Headbutt. And it is into the Rotom. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, what are we doing here? How many turns of rain have we got left? I think too many turns of rain, if I'm, if I'm completely honest. To really make use of a nasty plot. Uh, two turns. Okay. Well, 
yeah, I think we do nasty plot, and I think the problem is not faking out the Reggie Alecki here. Is it Electro Electro webs us and lots of speed? So Rotom's probably then going to be slow than Metagross, and then Metagross probably going to be able to pick up a knockout onto us. Um, Metagross probably protects anyway this turn, I think. So it might be worth calling the protect on the Metagross, faking out the Reggie Alecki, and trying to get a nasty plot up. Hoping the Metagross protects. I think that's what we've got to kind of bank on here. Oh, Reggie Alecki protects. Okay, so we get that 50-50 wrong. Yeah, completely wrong. Okay, well. Get the nasty plot up, but... What's this Metagross going to... It has to Zen head, but the Rotom. Oh, it's not. It's gone after the Rillaboom. Okay. I guess the Rillaboom is a Pokemon that's like a bit more problematic for my opponent to deal with. It's the one thing that's kind of keeping check the... Um... And what I'm going to do is switch in Politoed right... Mm, do we switch in Politoed right now or do I just go for a Grassy Glide into Reggie Alecki? Because I don't think... Yeah, Reggie... Yeah, the Zen Head, but combination is not going to take down yeah I think what we'll do is um or do we just go for the overheat in the rain onto the metagross yeah let's just do that and let's go grassy glide let's do that okay metagross going to protect here we're going to see an electro web but two grassy glides will take down yeah Two of these will take down. Okay, we're going to see the Volt Switch. That's fine. Wow, that's not so fine. That is really not so fine. Because now it becomes a bit more awkward for us dealing with the Urshifu. Because the Urshifu protects this next turn. But then if it doesn't protect... Okay, if it doesn't protect, it has to Sucker Punch. It has to Sucker Punch the, um, the Rotom. Or does it protect... Yeah, I think we're fine either way. I think because... If you Sucker Punch, Rillaboom, and then Zen Headbutt us, we still get the Grassy Glide. We're still going to be in a good spot. But then, uh, oh, Reggie Alecki coming in. It's going to be the thing. And Reggie Alecki just beats Rotom. Okay, I think we have to. Is that the play? Is that the play? Grassy Glide. Or are they going to, are they going to go for protect on Urshifu this turn and get Zen Headbutt into Rillaboom. They're gonna do that. They're gonna do that. Let's go Oh uh, no. No, no, no. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. They might protect here, but I think... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not risking it. I'm gonna just go a Grassy Glide. We've got to protect the Rotom at the end of the day. Yeah, Sucker Punch. Yeah. Okay, well, we get that right, and then the Zen Headbutt will come in to the Rillaboom. But we're still going to have enough to t to take down the uh, Reggie Alecki when it comes back onto the field, so that's fine. Um, and then the Overheat just takes down the Metagross. Because we haven't been Electro-Webbed with the Rotom Heat yet, which is the big thing. Um, and for them to get an electro web off, it means they need to take a grassy glide and they're not going to be able to do that. So yeah, here we go. We're going to just be able to click in both of these and uh, that should wrap up the game for us. So pretty tricky against this first one. A lot of mind games going on here, but um, confident now. If the Reggie Lecky's got protect, it causes a few issues, of course. Um, and especially if our grassy terrain is going to be ending soon. But well, hopefully the Regilecki hasn't got the Protect. And it's got some screen support. Yeah, I don't think it's got it. So that helps us out. So as long as Rotom Heat hits its overheat, here we go. We are golden. There we go. Good good lad, Rotom Heat. And that deals with the Metagross nicely. And we wrap up very, very close game uh, to kick us off with today. But uh, a nice example of how the team can kind of work uh, in other mods, not just the rain course. So, um, yeah, Kingdra did a nice job early on.
it's just a lot of guessing games but it's always like that in the best of one but it's always nice to kind of come out on top of those okay so next up we have a team consisting of Nihiligo, Galarian Moltres, Cinderace, Mama Swine, Spectria and Whimsicott we got another Whimsicott to deal with so it's gonna be uh not so fun um but we have got lots of things going on here you've got probably I think weakness policy Moltres I'd imagine with the ice shard there from the Mama Swine it makes a lot of sense to have that option there uh, you've got Trick Room potentially on the Nihiligo but it's probably going to be one of your more standard Nihiligos with the um, the Power Herb and the Meteor Beam Cinderace interesting it's a good Pokemon still Spectria with no redirection is interesting but you've got fake tier support potentially on the whimsicott so that is something that we'll need to watch out for as well um now what is the better way to, to approach this match because potentially trick room could be a better way to approach this one um in all honesty and reggie Steele could do a number on the majority of this team i think that's what we might actually go with i think we'll go rillaboom gothitelle help us with that that trick room setup and we've got reggie steel in the back and i think we 100 percent need polytoad for support here yeah we'll lock in with those leaving the kingdra out wow okay well we brought kingdra to game one so it kind of worked out we'll see how this this four this quad quad of pokemon kind of get on in this one so hopefully it does all right it does okay but um I mean, at, at this stage of a season, when you look at it, like it's always difficult. You're always going to face really good teams at this at this stage of any season because you're going to have very established uh, players that are very have played a lot of games. They're going to have teams that are, you know, like well built, well rounded, good against the majority of things because of the amount of practice they've put in. So, end of series always get difficult. You're never going to have an easy game in Pokemon. Right, okay, Whimsicott and Mama Swine. Are we going to sacrifice Rillaboom so early on to get our... I mean, one, one option we've got is just going for a Grassy Glide into the Mama Swine. It's probably going to max, though. Um, and we got Trick Room. The other option is Fake Out. Fake Out and Trick Room. I don't mind that too much. I think that's not a bad way. We're not going to see the Mama Swine max. It's probably going to go after the Rillaboom, though. Um... Okay, we see an eject button there. Okay, well, at least we force a Whimsicott out. And I think we're going to lose Rillaboom. Okay, well, Moltres is coming onto the field. I shot. Okay, well, we keep Rillaboom then. So that's, that's actually fine. Um, it's not so fine in the respect that we've got Moltres sitting on the field and it's going to be able to potentially get um i think we have mm, do we do we do we do we do we do we they're gonna nasty plot up they're gonna nasty plot up for sure i think uh, is the mama swine just gonna protect as well this turn which would make a lot of sense i mean they may not i mean a grassy glide and a psychic isn't a bad option to go for i mean wood is not a bad option either i'm gonna see i think it's gonna be the moltres max i mean i'd be happy if it wasn't the moltres but yeah it makes sense too okay we're gonna see i think an eye shard into the moltres to activate that weakness policy it'll take down probably gothitel i'd imagine here this is not going to be enough i don't think if it's sashed yeah which it is um a psychic could be enough to take it down unless yeah, they're not procking a weakness policy, which is good news for us, really, because that's the one thing we want to try and avoid with Moltres. We don't want to allow it to get these boosts up unnecessarily. Max Darkness coming into Gothitelle. Um, and yeah, more than enough. Without a Cobra Berry, we're never taking that. And is it Life Orb or is it weakness policy? That's going to be the big question here, I think. Um, right, well, no Life Orb, likely weakness policy. Rillaboom still sitting healthy on the field now reggie steel or polytod in this situation i think reggie steel is going to be the one to bring in 
and we'll see what my opponent does. We may have to max Reggie Steel like straight away off the bat without getting body presses up. I think that might be a better way to do it. Okay. Now I do worry here a lot about the fake tears into Reggie Steel. That worries me more than anything, I think. Because Ah, yeah, that's that's a real pain. Uh, Reggie steals. Um, okay. Let's pivot out and go for the max steel spike into the. Yeah. I think we have to do this. I just worry about that fake tears support from the whimsical. That's the one big worry of mine right now. There's my boy Reggie Steele in his dive ball. Fitting for a rain team with Reggie Steele. He was destined to be on this team. There he is. What a lad. <laughs> I do love Reggie Steele. I love all the Reggies. Uh, honestly, I wish we could make Reggie Ice work. I've been trying a lot, but it's just not. Okay, switcheroo. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? That is better than fake tears. That is what we like to see. So the assault vest has gone to the Whimsicott. Is it going to be enough to survive this? No. Okay, we're going to get a U-turn out onto the Moltres, which is okay. The crit may be matted there. We are f we are special flash cannon. Um, so it maybe did matter. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. U-turn. It means that we've got at least fake out for later on in this game and we can preserve that grassy terrain and we can also get the rain up for any threats that uh, threaten the uh, Registeel, any fire type attackers that might come out. Although I don't know if my opponent has any fire, so maybe it isn't so relevant. But we do get Politoed out. It is going to be able to suck up some attacks, especially if we see like a max airstream or something like that. Way better than, yeah, than what what Rillaboom is going to be able to do as we see yeah and then the nice thing now is we can perish song because my opponent's down I believe to their last two Pokemon are they are they down to their last two Pokemon I'm pretty sure they are and then the perish song should be able to be enough to kind of close this game out and with the trick room up we're in a great position to get that get that up unless we see something that's going to make it difficult for us to do so okay this is fine this is fine this is so fine this is so fine. Last two Pokemon. Let's perish. Let's get that Steel Spike into that Nihiligo. Let's get the game rolling and uh, let's get this Reggie Steel rocking because either the Perish is going to win or the Reggie Steel is going to win. I've got no worries about this at all. The Trick Room was the right play uh, from the word go. Um, okay, we're going to see the Nihiligo go for that Protect. Well, we don't mind that. It kind of gives us a little bit of space to kind of get the, the Perish up. Um, We'll see with the, the airstream kind of backfiring on my opponent. Um, in the trick room. But as soon as this perishes up, the big thing that we need to do after this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, speakers are way too loud. I'm sorry about that, but I do appreciate whoever it was following me right there. Um, massive shout out to whoever it is <laughs> i can't see on my screen right now but yeah sorry about the bleed i'll try and make sure in the uh, actual recording it's not not too bad uh we'd see the max darkness come out we get the perish song up which is great um then we're in a nice position to go after the nile ego now um it has just protected we can double into it and then just it just makes sure that the 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 Moltres is in a, in a good place to um to get taken down it is going to be reverting back to its um normal form though um i think we protect do we protect polytoad here are we in any danger of going down to the moltres i don't think we are really at this point in time let's just double check trick room still up for one more turn we're fine let's just make sure that we get rid of the nihiligo um nihiligo one of those pokemon that's very heavy again on the special defensive side so i wouldn't ever be surprised if it took this yeah, it takes it pretty comfortably, you know. So we're going to probably need the rain boosted scald to uh, of Polito to take this down. Um, hopefully with the rain boosting it, it is enough. Yeah, just about. Yeah. So Nihiligo is a beast. It is a beast in its own right when it comes to its special defense. On the uh, defensive side, though, not so good. And uh, Polito taking the fiery wrath, proking that berry. 
and making it pretty easy. So the next turn we can just go for a body press. We can switch Politoed out to Rillaboom. We can lock up this game with the Perish. We can probably lock the game up with the body press though. And Registeel can take all the glory. Um, but even if not, we've got the uh, we've got the ability to kind of um, just lock it up with the Perish if we need to. If we need to. I don't think we will. Um, but I think the, the teams performed pretty well in this episode. I'm pretty happy with how things have went so far. So that's quite nice. Um, and hopefully it's a good benefit for you guys to see how the team can function. Different different scenarios, I guess. So like I say, we'll switch the Politoed out. Makes sense to just make sure that we've got kind of a, like something to come in with. At least protect at the end of the game. Plus three, we'll body press. It should be enough, like I say, to get the Moltres here. And um, that should be the game the game but yeah i do love rain and you know i think kingdra has a hard time since fairy types were ever introduced kingdra's always had a, a much harder time to perform in the format um ludicolo has not performed as well as what i expected it to in this format at all um which is very surprising to me honestly i, I really felt like ludicolo wow wow Registeel so good. Yeah, it felt like Ludicolo could have been a really good Dynamax Pokemon. It, it kind of had its a little moment at the very start of Sword and Shield, but it's never really shone since then. So, a bit unfortunate. Good game to my opponent. And now we'll jump over to get that rental team for you guys. So, we'll be right back. Right, here we go, friends. Here is the rental code for this rain team. If you do try it out, like I've already mentioned, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It is an extremely fun team. I think it covers itself pretty nicely. It's got a lot of nice different modes to it. And it's a nice play on rain in general as i said at the start of the episode it is one of my favorite archetypes of the the, the entirety of the pokemon universe and uh, polytod's definitely one of my favorite pokemon definitely up there in a the top five spot i would say um so have fun with the team i hope you've enjoyed today's episode i hope it's been uh, beneficial educational and all of that good stuff and uh, we'll be back very soon with another episode so just thank you so much for tuning in hope you've enjoyed it hope you have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care Bye-bye.